Hello everyone, welcome back. It's January 1st, 2022, so Happy New Year. If you are new to Discord bots, I would highly suggest you watch the Carter video in the top right up here before watching this one. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a bot that snipes deleted and edited messages. To demonstrate, if I say hi and delete the message and use the slash command snipe, it'll return my deleted message and that I wrote it. And if I write hello, and I edit it to hi, and I use edit, it'll show my old message and my new message and who wrote it. Now, let's jump into the code. Alright, now that I've written the code, I'm going to explain what it does. The two main events that this bot uses are onMessageDelete and onMessageEdit. onMessageDelete is called whenever a message is deleted, and it requires the message content. onMessageEdit is called whenever a message has been pinned or unpinned, or if the message content has been changed. This, this is the one that we need to use when the message content has been changed. And it also requires the message content intent. So let's make sure in our developer portal that we have message content intent enabled. And as you can see, I have it enabled. So now let's go through the code. In line one, we import discord. In line three, we define our bot as our discord bot with our intents as our default intents. These are all the intents that we have enabled in our developer portal. So for us, just the message content intent. That's becoming a mouthful. Then we define servers as with the server IDs that we want our slash commands to be pushed out instantaneously in, since global slash commands can take an hour to 24 hours to register. If you want to make them global, you just remove the guild IDs equals servers part and just don't include that. Next, whenever our bot comes online, we're going to print our terminal. We have logged in as and then our bot's name. In line 11, we define sniped message as none. I'll explain why we do this in a bit. Then we create an event that whenever a message is deleted, we record the message's content and the author. And then we make these two global variables so we can access it elsewhere in the program. These commands aren't designed for use in more than one server since it may send a deleted message to another server if a user from the other server calls edit or calls snipe. All right, then we create our slash command snipe if the variable up here is none, that means that this has not been called yet. Then the bot will respond saying there's nothing to snipe. Otherwise, the bot will respond with the message's content and the deleted message's content and the author. We do something similar for on message edit, except we just have a little more variables. We define new as none, and whenever our bot detects that a message has been edited, it'll create three global variables, old, new and author. Old is defined as the message's previous intent, new is defined as the message's current intent, content, and author is the author, the author ID. So then we create our final slash command, edit, and it basically does is that it checks if new is none. If it is none, then it'll respond saying there's no message to return because this has not been triggered yet. Otherwise, it'll respond with the before message, the after message, and who wrote it. And it'll also ping them. They both ping, these two slash commands both ping the author of the deleted or edited message. Then we just run the bot. Now let's try this out. 
I'm going to open a new terminal. Python 3 stipe and edit.py. Let's wait for it to tell us that we have logged in. Uh, if I say hello, and then I do edit it and say hey, and then I do edit, it'll return with hello and hey as are my before and after message. And it'll also say that I wrote that. So if I delete hey, and I just do snipe, it'll return hey and that I wrote it. If you found this helpful or if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. We're on our way to 50 subscribers, so if you could consider subscribing and liking the video, it'll really help out the channel. Thanks.